a lot of people like a, like to liken it towards like a cross between bocce ball and bowling. I mean, there's a, there's a sheet of ice and there's two targets that you basically try to hit and you roll this heavy piece of granite down the ice and uh, basically try to get it close to the center of these circles. And the more of your own stones that you have at the center of the circle, the more points you get. And there's a lot of etiquette to the game as well, which I think is kind of kind of a good point to raise. Um, kind of usually before the game, I mean, we try to get together and talk to one another, kind of catch up. But after the game, it's kind of customary for both teams to get together afterwards, and uh, the winning team cleans up the ice. Losing team goes upstairs and waits for the winning team, and the winning team buys a couple of pitchers of beer. So, okay, so the winning team cleans up and buys a beer. Yeah, what's yeah, the, yeah. What's yeah. the incentive to win? Yeah. You know, in your first year, when you play 16 uh, games and you go 2 and 14, you know, even though you don't ever have to buy the beer, it gets kind of old losing week after week after week. Oh, that was a tight one. And there's a lot of luck, especially at this level, that. Uh, that's involved. <laughs> that's we typically call it Plan B, where you know you you call a shot and you know maybe you you point at one of the te other team's rocks and you want them to hit that and take it out, and then the shot that's actually thrown is three feet off to the left and it ends up hitting something else and getting knocked into the center and it scores a point. Yeah. And you know I, I mean especially with people that have been playing for five years or less, I, I mean Plan B comes into effect very often. Hopefully he throws it with the right amount of weight, so after he hits the stone, it still stays inside the circles. This is a great, really good shot. Everybody, on every shot, all four people are involved. It's not like sit around and wait for the one guy to do something. Everybody's got to do their role all the time. You know, there's, there's a lot of good people that we know here and a lot of people that we like seeing every week. And, you know, just going upstairs and getting a chance to just BS and have a few beers and you know that's uh, a big draw and a big reason that we keep coming back and 